Greetings fans, hyperfans and people just lost looking for videos of cats on YouTube. You may think that this is a pretty old toy to review. Um, MMC Tigress has been out for a couple of years now. But that's not actually the toy that we are looking at here. As can be seen if I put him in comparison with Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Okay, he's not Masterpiece Optimus Prime, but this guy is rather on the huge side. What we have here is the Chinese mainland KO version created by Jin Bao Toys. I know images of him have been doing the rounds on the net, but I was really lucky to get my hands on him and I just wanted to show him off a little bit. He comes with pretty much every weapon that you'd expect him to. He comes with the two pistols, his daggers, and the massive axe thing that's the way that it ships um although i've discovered that if you crack that apart and flip that over and then squeeze that together um that actually works a lot better as a blade as far as i'm concerned uh that's not a chrome but a very silvery plastic I think that's going all the way through it because I've not seen any scratching off so far, so that's rather cool. To give you some proper idea of scale, um, I'm going to put him side by side with the only figure in my collection I think I could really compare him to. And that's one of the only cat formers that I've got that doesn't go into Soundwave's chest. He's a smidge shorter from tail to head, quite a lot lower, and an awful lot thinner. This is supposed to be a Voyager size. This is what I think of as a Voyager size. I guess for older collectors, this would have been ultra class. Most of the articulation from the original remains. Um, the back legs have a huge range of motion, um, basically being a turn joint and a pin joint there and then pin joints there and there and a ball joint on the ankle on both sides the front is pretty much the same with a double knee um, pin joint there turn at the shoulder The head is on a series of, yep, visible head syndrome, series of hinges, and then ultimately on a ball joint at the neck. So you can get some quite expressive poses from him. Um, just pulling him up. There's a little tab there so you can open the mouth. The teeth are all painted. Um, paint applications are minimal but very effective. Um, the spikes are picked out. You have this sort of quite goldy silver on a few panels. The quality control on him isn't brilliant. You have quite a lot of mold flashing and you have a stress mark on there. Um, I'll show you later, this piece has actually been mismanufactured. Uh, one of the very few problems that I've seen on the entire series. He has a useless door um, here, which unfortunately for those of you who are fans of the original, does not contain a penguin. Um, lots of articulation at the waist. A very small bend there. The tail is simplified only insofar as the midway joint has been removed, but he's pretty good. Um, there are actually only three real designs over the six robots I'm going to be covering this week, so I'm not going to be covering everything with everybody. I do want to talk just a little bit about quality on this. Um, the plastic is 
really quite heavy, quite dense. I have transformed him a couple of times and felt absolutely no fear in doing so. Now, if I bring in a guy I haven't reviewed yet, because it's really felt like taking my life in my hands every time I've tried to transform him, and he needs a lot of transforming, um, here is a KO of MMC's reformatted six shot. Now these are basically both toys by the same designer, ripped off by completely different companies. This figure is about twice the size again. Um, has this really tinny feel to it. Nothing really holds together properly. Um, there are reasons for getting this guy, um, especially if you've already bought the official MMC release and you want something to show off the other five forms. But this kind of represents everything that steers people away from KOs and this guy represents everything that steers me towards them. I mean, I picked up the entire set of Predacons for as much as I've seen single members being advertised for on eBay. The fact that they're upscaled, they still retain all of the play functions that were on the original really does make it, you know, pretty much a no-brainer for me. Transformation is a mix of bleedingly obvious and a little bit irritating, um, bottom half being the irritating one. So, fold the tail back up, split the legs, and there is just a little peg in there to hold the tail up. Lift up these vents and the entire animal leg concertinas in. Those covers then clip back over the feet. And getting the angle right, let's see then plug it back into the leg. The legs have to be done in a very specific order. First of all, uncouple the feet, work the knees around, which then lets you open the side panels. Whilst you have the side panels open, extend the leg out. Before you close that, use that little bit extra space that you've got to turn the foot. Close the panel up and rotate the foot into the space. And there you have the bottom half of a robot. He has the optional ability to swing out these two sections on the side, which are perfect for holding his blades. And with the bottom half done, it's then time for the dead easy top part. Here we just turn obvious combiner port around, clip the head round and bring the neck into that groove in the chest, bringing the whole thing down with a snap. Head lifts, turns and sits back down. I'm pretty sure that this neck joint was supposed to cover up the very obvious combiner port, but the tolerances on this really do not give you any opportunity to do that. Um, this, I've got a feeling, has been extended to help take the weight of the much bigger size. Arms, exactly as you'd expect on a beast former. Open them up. Flip out the hands. The tiger claws come over the top a la Wolverine. Same on the other side. And there you have him.
So once again, with poor old Thundertron standing in for size comparison, you can see that this beast formula is a beast of a robot as well. Here's where Tigress probably suffers most from being a knockoff of a knockoff and an oversimplified figure. Um, whilst the articulation is still fantastic, um, nice heavily ratcheted hips, ratchets at the knees, very, very poseable feet, uh, the ability to move these to any angle that you want to pose him to. Again, all those articulation points of the front legs giving you a great range of motion in the arm. Unfortunately, no wrist swivel, but you can't have everything. Um, the head is on a ball joint, but that's not really much of a head, is it? Um, if I get the angle just right, you can see that they're supposed to have tiny red eyes against a yellow background. Um, but it just looks as though they're supposed to be yellow and have been mispainted. The mouth plate being picked out would have been a really nice touch, but in the end we've just kind of got this very generic on head. He holds his weapons pretty well. Um, only problem being with his great blade, um, all the kibble at the bottom that's needed for articulation means that you can't really put it into the hand and it the sculpting is ever so slightly off which means this poor chappy has lost his thumb completely by me using excessive force to get the big blade in there um, and of course without the thumb it actually doesn't hold that well joints are of course nice and tight and even a blade that heavy isn't pulling him over if you get this set at the 100, 120 pound mark, you're not going to be paying more for each one of these than you would do for Hasbro Voyager. Only problem is, since we can only get these in for mail order, there's no way that you can look in the box and see if there's any quality control issues. I've been kind of lucky on mine. Um, he does have one issue with this arm where this elbow section has been put in backwards. It has absolutely no effect on him unless you try and make him into Predator King. And considering that that's what most people are going to buy this for, that's a pretty big problem. So at the end of Tread Week, you may see me do a Macula Mods video on how to fix that issue. Anyway, this has been Jing Bao's version of Tigris. I've been Macula. Join me tomorrow to see what's afoot. Nice.